gonna start off by giving all praise, glory, and honor to unto Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baal Shem, Kapadash. Double honors to the apostles and hells of great millstone. And that respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. Yahweh, in the name of the Heavenly Father, who the word inwardly calls God, Baal Shem is in the name of Yahweh Shah is the only begotten Son of the Father, who the word inwardly called Jesus Christ. He know that he died for the house of Israel, particularly the elect, and he is risen again. You know, he risen again on the third day, and he sits at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for the Israelites, but particularly the elect. And you know, your house is the one that's going to come back. And he's going to take down all uh, rulership and principalities in this wicked kingdom. And he's going to form for the throne of David, which is the kingdom of heaven. You know, under your house, you're going to have King David. You're going to have the uh, the 12 apostles. You're going to have the 144,000, which are the, which are the, uh, the men that govern the head, govern the bodies under the rulership of your house, you Going to have the one third, you know, which is the men, women, and children that repenting and believe in the gospel of Yahweh Shem Al Shah, and through them, the rest of the two thirds which have to die on this side, you know, because of their wickedness and disobedience to the law, statutes, commandments are going to be purged out. They're going to be reborn through the norms of the elect. You know, Shem is in the name of. Kapadash is the Holy Spirit. That's prophesied in Joel 2 and 28. That's going to be poured out upon all flesh. You're going to have the elect of the house of Israel that's going to wake up and they're going to repent. And these other nations, they're going to come to know who they are. They're going to come to know who they are. But, you know, they're not going to repent because two thirds of our people are not going to repent because, you know, they, you know, they're going to continue to live and wickedness yeah, and the other nations just don't have a chance they ain't no double honors to the apostles and hell's a great millstone and no respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide coming back at you with another lesson and basically this lesson is going to go in, you know into pride you know and I had you know I had a you know a dream you know that um uh, you know, I can't quite remember it, but you know, it was uh, it was uh, basically was an elder of uh, Anantas out of uh, South Carolina, and I can't can't quite remember it, but he, you know, he had something to do. You know, he, you know, was talking about pride. You know, being proud, and um, you know, I, I can't remember all the details of it, but he did, but he did say something, you know, was talking about pride, and, you know, basically, you know, just wanted to do a lesson on pride, and if you understand pride, according to the scriptures, pride is the only thing uh, that, that caused the downfall of a lot of Israelites because of pride. And a, and a lot of kingdoms have failed because of pride, you know, and that's the reason why when you come in into, you know, to his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh by Hashem Al Shah, you got to come in in a, in a humility mind state, knowing that at any given time, Yahweh by Hashem Al Shah, he can take his Holy Spirit from us. You know what I'm saying? And we could we could go back into the world, you know, and to be bug outs. You know, that's the reason why it's very important when you come to the wisdom lot to understand it. You never ever want to be lifted up with pride, man. You always want to keep a humble mind state. Because your Habash Shem Al Shah did not have to reveal his secrets or his truth unto us through his servant the prophets. Because the scriptures say that uh, he doesn't do anything, but he revealed his secrets unto certain prophets. You know, and the prophets, 
you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Al Shah, you know, break down the scriptures and bring out the words of the Lord, you know, according to the spirit. And when and when Yahweh Shem Al Shah, you know, according to Revelation, he comes in and he suck with you. You know what I'm saying? That's this is not the time, you know, to be in pride. You know what I'm saying? Because Yahweh Shem Al Shah Yahweh Shah does not have to suck with either one of us. You know, he could have left us out there to our own devices. He could have left us out there to, you know what I'm saying, to, to be a bug out. Uh, he could have left us out there to be destroyed. But, you know, because of grace that come from you, how about the same outside, you know, he, he, he allowed us to receive his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the gospel. And you know, you have some Israelites that, that walk around in pride, you know what I'm saying, not coming in a humility mind state. Because guess what? You know, the scripture said and Yahweh will not get a little bit, you know, there there's several things that Yahweh by Shimmy Hawsha hates. And going to a proud look is, is is one of them. You know, walk around in pride, you know, when the when the prophets, the men of the Lord rebuke you and correct through the spirit. Some people just can they cannot take they cannot take correction. And they believe that they far above uh, correction. You know, they believe that they they do, do not do anything wrong. And that's the dangerous spirit to be in. And now we're gonna look up this uh definition of pride. You know. And uh and according to the definition, you know, it, it's a feeling of deep pleasure or satisfaction derived from one's own achievements. The achievements of those whom one is closely associated are from qualities or possess, possessions that I widely admire. And you know, we and we should not walk, you know, in great pride, man. You got to understand that we have we have to be. And, you know, we have to be in a in a, a lower state, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if we if we walk around in pride and we walk around thinking that we know more than Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, you know, that's a dangerous state to be in. Because, you know, you know, you can get to a point that you you know, you and when apostles and elders, you know, they rebuke you. I, I, and they do it out of love. You have, you even have some particular Israelites that can't accept correction. You know they, um, you know they buck up against the word. They buck up against, you know, Yahweh Shem Al Shah. They buck up against the prophets. And, and get what? You know, most high not gonna be dealing with you. You know what I'm saying? When you come into this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, you got to come in there in a humility mind state, knowing that, you know, he, 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 how about Shem Al Shah, he could chose any vessel in the world, in the world, you know, to receive his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the gospel. But, you know, yeah, he, cho he chose us, you know, from the foundation of the world, but, you know, he didn't have to. He could have chose anybody, you know, but he chose, you know, he chose particular Israelites to wake up and to be delivered. You know what I'm saying? And we got to understand that that we can't be proud. We can't say, oh, you know, uh, I know that I'm 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 part of the elite and they're not. You know, you can't say that. Because we, none of us know who, who who's out of first first fruits that that's from the beginning. None of us don't know who are part of the elect. You know, but we pray to Yah by Shem Al Shah that we'll count it worthy to be part of the elect. You know, we you know, it it not our words, it's nothing that we have done to attain, you know, being part of the elect, but it is the grace and mercy of Yah by Shem Al Shah. You know, it had nothing to do with us, you know, it ain't nothing that we have done, but it's the it's the grace of Yah by Shem Al Shah that he chosen the elect from the foundation of the world. But again, back to pride. Like I said, pride is a dangerous killer. 
and pride had caused many kings to fall, man. You see, many kings fail because of pride, man. You know, and, and, and you look at uh, this place, Babylon the Great, these people are, are particularly proud, man. You know, they particularly proud, and they and they don't believe that America could be touched. They don't believe Babylon the Great could be touched. You even got particularly Israelites don't believe that Babylon the Great is going to be touched. Even though that the scriptures tells you that this place is going to go down, but yet you got particularly Israelites, you know, they, they praying that this place stays up. You know, they praying that this that this society continues on. You have particular Israelites talking about building communities in Babylon the Great. You know, and we're not in the time for that. You know what I'm saying? That shows you the pride of, of these particular Israelites that, that wanted to do those things, man, because they know in the scripture that Yahweh by Shem Al Shah is going to destroy this place. But yet you got you got our people, they trust in, in this system. You know, they walk around with great pride. And when you tell them that they need to repent and come back to the law, statute, commands of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah and practice the righteous acts, you know, they act as though that that death doesn't apply to them. You know, they act as though that, that, uh, you know, that this word doesn't really apply to them. And, and, you know what I'm saying? And they use this word to cast a stumbling block before the people and cause, you know, particular Israelites to walk in their, in, their, in their pride like they do. You know what I'm saying? And most high, he hates a proud look. You know, that's one of the seven things that Yah by Shem Al Shah hates. But let's just pull that up real quick. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? The most high, he, he, he has a, pr a proud look. You know, and, and he makes it very clear. You know, that we got to be careful. That, uh, that we don't get in that, uh, in that, uh, uh in that mindset. I believe in the Ecclesiastes, I believe. Uh, it is Proverbs like it's a Proverbs chapter uh, chapter 6 and we're going to start at verse 16 but the point is in 17 you know and it, and it reads these six things do Yahweh hate yea seven are an abomination to him and, and guess what number one on the list in verse 17 a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed ants and blood, a heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that that swift and run into mischief, a false a, a false witness that speak lies, and he that sowed discord among the brethren. And I will touch on that first one. That was the whole point of this this scripture. Is a proud look, and that's one of those seven things. That's abomination unto Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. And it said, and he says things that Yahweh hate. And the main one on the list is a proud look. You know what I'm saying? When you get to the point that you are proud, too proud to the point that you can't be told anything, you cannot be humbled down and be corrected, you're in the dangers of fear with Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. And he's not going to suck with you, he's not going to deal with you being in that proud look. He's not going to deal with any one of us that we have a proud look. You know, that's the reason why we have to stay humble. And, and when you being corrected in the spirit by Yahweh HaShem Al Shah through a servant of prophets, you know, you got to count it as joy, man, because Yahweh HaShem Al Shah does not have to deal with any one of us. And we have to keep that in mind. He doesn't have to deal with now one of us. He could allow us to be to our own devices. And, and, and you know he could not he could allow you to be a bug out he could allow you to stay in your particular religion that you was in you know continue to serve you know false gods but y'all about Shem Al Shah you know what I'm saying he, he gave you this wisdom not to understand those scriptures and so we can we cannot allow ourselves to have you know to be proud 
you know what I'm saying, walk around like we got all the answers, we know it all, guess what? You know, we know nothing, man. Without the spirit of Yahweh, we don't know anything. We don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? We won't even know uh, or who we were if it wasn't the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh. So who are we to walk around, you know, being proud? Who are we to walk around thinking that we have all the answers? We, we're not we're not anybody, man. You know what I'm saying? So we, we had no... A reason to be proud, man. We have to stay humble, you know, because scripture said, you know, a, a, hum, a humble and a contrite spirit. We well, have by you have by Shimmy shot here. He's not gonna hear a, a spirit that's proud, man. He's not gonna hear you. You just wasting your breath and you just wasting your time. You think that the most high is gonna hear you. You walk around with pride in your heart, you know what I'm saying? He's not gonna hear you at all. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a broken and contrite spirit, you know, for for Yahweh by Shem Al to hear hear your prayer, man. You know, y'all come in in humility, knowing that you don't know anything, knowing that Yahweh by Shem Al can to take the, his spirit from you. And like I said before, you know, it's a lot of kingdoms if it's gonna you know fail fall or they fail because of pride. In particular, Babylon the Great is it, not going to be no exception, man. They're going to fall. And this is another scripture. Proverbs chapter uh, 16, verse 18. It said, Pride go before destruction, and a hearty spirit before fall. And when you understand the scriptures, you know, pride goes before destruction, man. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people that walk in pride, you know, they end up being destroyed. Uh, you know, y'all by Shem Al Shai end up humming them down, man. You know, you could allow a, 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 a bad event, a catastrophe event to happen to you to the point that you can be humbled down, man. You know, that's the reason why you have to praise y'all by Shem Al Shai, you know, because he had given you this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He, doesn't, he does not have to give you anything. He could allow you to be a bug out. He could allow you, you know what I'm saying, he could allow you to be a wicked two-third. He could allow you to to uh, uh, be ignorant. He could allow you to, uh, you know, continue to be walking around in, in, in this spiritual wilderness, not knowing who you are, because Jeremiah 17, 4 said that we, we got to discontinue from our heritage. But because of the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Al Shah, you know, we, we were allowed to receive this wisdom, not to understand it of the gospel. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we can't walk around in pride and thinking that, oh, well, uh, you know, we know this and we know that. Guess what? According to the Spirit, we don't know anything. You know? And who was the thing that uh, we know we know it all, but we don't know nothing? You know, because pride is, is the number one tool, you know, that, that the enemy used cause our people to fall man because our people walk around in pride they you know when you show them in the scriptures you show them in the bible what the what the spirit of y'all about shim al shah is saying and what 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 the word is our people walk around like you know they say that oh you know this is the white man's book oh you know that you know saying i repent already i'm good you know who are you to tell me what to do you you know you 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 know only God can judge me. You know, there's particular things that our people say, and, and also the particular things that the heathen would say too when you bring out scripture. They, they basically say that you a hate group. You know, even though that you bring out the, the, the exact word that they claim that they believe in, but when you bring out particulars in the scripture that concerning them, they said that you're part of a hate group. Uh, uh, they say that you just making this stuff up. You know, they walk in, walk in pride, man. They don't want to receive correction, you know. And, and, and that's just what it is, man. And, and you got to be careful with pride because pride, you know what I'm saying, pride can uh, cause you, you know what I'm saying, to fall. And, and, and a lot of people fail because of pride. You know what I'm saying? And this is Jeremiah chapter... Uh, 50 and verse 32, I'm going to go ahead and put it up, you know, and it reads, 
it said, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up. I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. And, and we know that's talking about Babylon the Great. And this place, and you look at it, 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 it build up on pride, man. You know, and, and they believe that they, that they cannot be touched. And, and, and the scriptures say that this place is going to stumble and going to fall. And we're seeing that, you know, little by little, this place is falling, man. In our Revelation chapter 18, uh, around verse 2, it says, Babylon the great is falling, and it, it's falling. And, and, and you know why? It's falling because, you know, the Most High is breaking the, the pride of, of these devils. And, they, and he also breaking the pride of you two-thirds out there. They refusing to repent and not into Yahweh Bashim Al Shah should save you. You know, he, he breaking you two thirds, man. That's the reason why you seeing judgment coming upon the house of Israel because of our people walking around in pride. And they don't believe that they that they're not gonna be judged. They gonna believe they they some way, somehow, they're not gonna be touched. But Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is gonna break your pride, man. And that's the reason why we tell our people to repent and turn back to Yahweh by Shem Al Shah because we don't want to be in the proud spirit. Because they they said in, in Psalms, uh, I believe it's 51 and 10 and 11, you know, he said that, you know, yeah, Yahweh by Shem Al Shah not to take the, you know, the whole spirit from him. You know, why? Because he didn't want Yahweh by Shem Al Shah to take his spirit from him because he know that. Yah Bashim Al Shah took his spirit from him. He he know that he's gonna be like, you know, like a week and two thirds, man. And he did not want to be be that. You know, that's really why he asked Yah Bashim Al Shah not to take his whole spirit from him. And 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 that's the same thing that we should ask Yah Bashim Al Shah not to take his spirit from us. Because we don't want to go back out there into the world, man. Because we tasted what the world has to offer. We tasted how it is, you know what I'm saying, to live in this wicked society and in in a government, how they how they govern things, man. You know, we should we should want the kingdom of heaven to be established and we want to be in, in humility. You know, pray I praise Yah by Shim Al Shah because he could allow us to to uh be at the bottom where we are at the bottom. He could allow us to continue to be in, in a Gentile mind state. But he woken us up to this gospel, and, and, and you know, what I'm saying he bringing us to his true wisdom, not to understand of his word, man. And that's it for a lesson. Just want to bring out, you know, you know, a quick lesson about pride. And I pray that you brothers been edified. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor due unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rokakadash, Never Honest, Apostle, Elder, Great Millstone, Shadow One.